Hi, welcome to my eight week, teen week, 18 week bump date. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself still when I vlog. So I hope I don't come off extremely awkward, <laughs> as awkward as I feel. Um, I feel like I would um, like to ask you how you're doing, but that doesn't really work through the screen. But if you have anything that you want to share, please do in the comments. So, 18 weeks. I cannot believe that we have made it this far. Your first pregnancy goes by so slow, and then when you have multiple kids, I feel like you don't have a lot of time just to sit and think about, oh, I'm pregnant, and there's a new baby in there. You do think about it, but there's everything else going on as well. So at the moment, my two littlest ones are napping and my husband is home and he's working on building us a deck. So my oldest, who just turned four, is outside with him working on that while she's watching. He's working. So there's a few things about the baby I guess I'll do since this is a bump date. My app says, and I just use the what to expect when you're expecting app, um, it says baby is as big as a cucumber. Now. I've seen different sized cucumbers before, so I don't really know <laughs> um, exactly how that all works, but it says it's 5.5 inches and between 5 and 6.5 and ounces. So, I mean, that's what it should be. And then some of the things it's doing, it says it can yawn and hiccup now, and it can hear. So. I guess I have to make sure I'm more calm. <laughs> I try to be calm, but extra calm because the baby can now hear me. So if I decide that I need to tell my husband something, I better use a gentler voice. <laughs> um, and then things with me, I've been so hungry a couple of days. Like, I don't feel like I need to be eating any extra. I'm a little bit overweight still from all my other pregnancies, but I've been so hungry. Like, I just feel like I can't get enough. Now today wasn't as bad, but there was a couple days, ooh, I was starving. So I don't know if the baby's going through a growth spurt or if it's hormones or what. Maybe it was just, I just had the munchies. I don't know. And then something concerning that's been going on. I think around 16 weeks I started feeling the baby move. Like one day it was just a lot of movement and they were so strong it and I could tell for sure it was the baby. And I didn't feel it for a while. And then I felt it again a couple, like maybe a week or so later. But I haven't been feeling the baby now. This is I'm in my 18th week and I haven't been feeling the baby um, move very much. Maybe faintly here or there, but nothing I can say that was the baby. And it's been really concerning because I did feel it move. And I want to call the doctor and just be like, hey, I'm not feeling the baby move. I did. But I'm only 18 weeks and I don't know what they'll say about that. I don't know if they'll be like, oh, well... You don't have to fill it consistently until 26 weeks and maybe that's the truth of it maybe I don't need to be filling the baby yet but I would really be comforted since I did fill it move if I could start filling it again so I'm really hopeful and prayerful that the baby will start moving where I can feel it again because it's kind of worrying me um and then on top of that I had an appointment for August 2nd coming up and they were going to do an ultrasound so I was going to be able to see like the baby's okay um but they moved it from August 2nd to August 9th I guess my OBGYN is going on vacation or something and so I have to wait even longer to be able to tell if my baby is okay which I'm really hoping everything's good but just a little concerning you know not knowing so something else that's been happening um I think it's ligament pain, but I'll get these really bad like pains in my lower stomach. I feel it's like muscle cramping up. I don't feel like it's in my uterus or anything, but I've had them a couple times and they'll be so bad that I have to lay out. And when I lay out, I kind of just relax and if my 11 month old now is around, he'll come over and try to jump on my belly or jump on me not very relaxing but if I can lay out when my husband gets home from work or something and just rest usually it goes away and I really think it has to do with ligament pains and how I'm sitting and pinching like something um but that's been not fun <laughs> um just any kind of pains are not not fun um with my first I gained a lot of weight because every time I would get some sort of a pain 
I would try to rest and I worked um, while I was pregnant with her but I sold storage sheds and I didn't have to get up all day long just when people were there to like look at the sheds then I would get up and go talk to them if it was raining I wouldn't go outside and wait for that they would stop and so I wasn't running around all day um, and because of the pains that I didn't know what they were and I thought oh this means the baby's hurting I gained a lot of weight because I didn't move as much well my next pregnancies I was like okay I'm just gonna go with that these are normal pregnancy feelings and I've had weird pains with all of my pregnancies and um, besides for my one that was an early loss they've all been normal um, but having that early loss it does make it a little bit more concerning because sometimes pains do mean something bad you know so I try to just remind myself that you're stretching and you're growing a baby and your body's doing things changing and that's okay to feel a little bit of pains here and there and you know unless like you're cramping continuously and it's not stopping or you're bleeding I try to just take it with a grain of salt now that being said for you if someone's watching who is pregnant as well if you ever feel like there's anything off go talk to your call your midwife or OBGYN up that's what they're there for make sure you mention it um, and then there's something I do need to mention to them speaking of mentioning it is I've been getting some like migraines I got them as a teenager and for some reason I haven't had them bad for a while I think like close to 20 they kind of let up um, but I'll get I've been getting migraines a couple different times and I think it's when I'm tired but me having I guess I guess I assume that you guys know because I made another video but I didn't tell everyone in this video so I have high blood pressure and it comes from a history well I think it comes from a history let me back up I didn't have any blood pressure problems with my first um, my second I got like preeclamptic at the end when I was like 41 weeks and I had her um, to be induced and all of that. It was either preeclamptic or pre preeclamptic. I need to go back and see what they actually said. It was kind of a blurred time. I went to an appointment and had to be induced. And then my third mis um, miscarriage, my third pregnancy ended in an early loss, but my fourth pregnancy where my son was born, um, I also started getting high blood pressure around 20 weeks. So this time I came into the office and I had high blood pressure in the front door and I had gone to a doctor's appointment where my blood pressure had come back down after my son so I kind of think it's pregnancy related but because it's before 20 weeks they don't consider it pregnancy related but anyway because I have high blood pressure problems the migraines kind of concern me a little bit I'm not far enough along to have preeclampsia I think they say that happens after 20 weeks but it's been kind of concerning. I've seen like really flashes of lights and then I've had really bad headaches where I just have to lay down for a long time and take Tylenol. Um, thankfully, usually they're at the end of the night and I can go to sleep. Um, but yeah, that's been kind of rough. And then, oh, I think my little guy woke up. Hang on. So the lighting may not be as good here, but maybe he'll play while I finish this. Um, I think I was talking about being tired and not sure how everyone gets it all done. And that's so true. I don't know how mamas do it all. I try to do what I can. And I'm so wiped out. But maybe, you know, it's just the stage of motherhood. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I had a paper I was writing stuff down on. And I... Yeah, it's over there now. So it's been a little while since I was making the last clip and my two-year-old is now awake and my baby boy is still awake playing. But there's just a few more things I thought I'd add to this video. Um, one of the things that I've been going through recently is greasy hair. So it doesn't seem like I can get my hair clean. I'll wash it and it doesn't seem very ungreasy. And the next day it's just back to being kind of greasy and I don't know what it is. I usually do not have this issue as badly. I usually have a couple of days at least where I have, you know, somewhat decent looking hair, but it's just been super greasy. So that's been fun. Something else has been, um, my, I think it's from my blood pressure medicine, but I was seeing like really, um, fuzz, fuzzy, like my vision would just get super fuzzy and blurry. And I didn't know why. I talked to a nurse friend of mine and she said, 
could be a side effect from my medicine. Yeah, you see, Papa. And I take Glabetalol for my blood pressure, so that's been kind of fun. It's really hard to have to deal with life with blurry vision, but what do you do? And I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and you're getting through what you need to today. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah.